Hello! I'm actually starting out this vlog with full dishwasher sounds in the background. <laughs> hey, baby. Can she give you a hug before you start? Can I get a hug? Oh, you want to be on the YouTube? You want to be famous? Say hi, YouTube. Hi. Hello, welcome to today's vlog. I'm coming to you from my house, actually. Yeah, baby. I can't pick you up because you can't be on the screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Okay, I'm going to start today by doing some stain treating because I don't have a sink in my office, I have to do stain treating at home. So I brought home some things, some white things that I am going to stain treat and I'll bring you along. I actually, while you were napping, I watched my old stain treatment video. Oh, that's my mic. Oh shoot. Uh oh, she grabbed my mic. Here, I'll just hold it. And that was actually a pretty good video, I'm not gonna lie. I edited that video by myself. And uh, I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit. Toot toot. Can you say toot toot? <laughs> Don't edit this out. I'm gonna toot my own horn a little bit. Toot toot. Can you say toot toot? Toot toot. Toot <laughs> toot. Um, okay, Billy, I'm going to put you down. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here, sweetie pie. You farting on mama? Oh, Billy, it's Pete the Cat's groovy bake sale. Wait, can I so anyway, let's head downstairs and do some stain treating. And, um, yeah, you should watch that stain treatment video. I'll link it up on the screen in case you haven't already. Hopefully these stains come out. Fingers crossed. Okay, so I cleaned off. <laughs> And set up my stain station. This was covered in stuff and I'm not going to show you the rest of my laundry room but it's a wreck. I really want to go through it like I'm fighting everything in me to just like spend an hour cleaning this but we have a goal. We have tasks that we're setting to get done. So I actually have you know a, a decent amount of things from just recent Ben's trips to stain treat that are white but lucky for me I don't have enough for a full load so lucky for me I have three bags and a bin here of stain stuff from like the past couple of years that I'm gonna go through real fast just to find any other white things and then hopefully I'll have enough white things for a load of stuff and if not I'll just pull from like my own personal laundry or something so here I'll show you I'll show you down here you see all this stuff? So here's one bag, two bags, three bags, and a bin. So, okay, I'm just gonna go through this stuff now and hopefully find some stuff. It doesn't have to be white, I guess, just like very light colored. Like this, for instance, would be a good one. A torrid bra. I think it literally just has sweat stains, so it'd be pretty easy. Or like some dirt marks even. I don't see any sweat, but I see a little bit of dirt marks, so. Okay, I'm gonna go through this stuff, hopefully get enough stuff, and then we'll do some stain treating. Okay, so I found a good amount of stuff. I actually found, look at this. I was like, oh my God. I mean, this must be from liquidation a little while ago. But Veronica Beard, new with tags. It's a cashmere dicky, which is perfect for this time of year. But then it does have this here. So that just looks like dirt to me. So I might honestly be able just to get it out with a little bit of laundry detergent and just hand wash it, leave the tags on, 
So that's like kind of a separate side project. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw this with the other stuff, but it's worth the time, I think. I and mean, if I don't have time, I can come back to it. The problem, um, and like I think a really important part of stain treating is when you identify the stain, have some kind of system so that you can remember where the stain is. Because the problem with this laundry room is that it's for a reason with this lighting. Uh, it's like fluorescent lighting in here. Um, it's hard for me to find stains oftentimes. So what I do now, if the fabric allows, like of course I wouldn't do this on silk or something, but I will write like a little, I'll put a little sticker and put stain. But um, another thing you could do, and we've done this before, is just have a spread stain spreadsheet and describe, like put the item and then put a description of the stain. Um, and then that way you're not scrambling every time or worse, you think there's only one stain or you misidentify the stain and then you do all this tr stain training and you take it back. <laughs> this has happened to me so many times. You take it back to go list and then you're like, oh, there's the stain. Okay, well, I didn't treat that. So I'm going to start stain treating all this stuff. Let me make my solution here. I think this is what I'm gonna use on the majority of things. The problem with bins items is that you really don't know where the stain came from. So um, it can be rather tricky to know what kind of stain treatment you wanna use. This is, I typically start with this. I could start with OxyClean and that really wouldn't be a bad idea. I could honestly just like, put a bath of OxyClean here or put like a thing and douse it all in there, wash it, pull it out, see what came out with it. Maybe I should just do that. And then after I pull it out of the wash, if it hasn't come out, then I would use this. I would do another kind of cycle and use the stain treatment solution. And both of these things I talk about in the stain treatment video. So, okay, change of plans. That's what I'm gonna do is easier. <laughs> For me. So I'm gonna take this OxyClean and you can use OxyClean like uh, I could make a little solution if I just had like one stain to do and soak it in there for a little bit but uh, what I'm going to do is just make a big kind of bath of it. So I'm gonna put like a full scoop and they say you can just put it straight into the wash. Of course that's how most people use it. So I might add some to the wash too and then oh, I'm gonna just soak it for a little bit, like 10 minutes, not even that long. And then toss it in wet into the laundry, which means I've got to take this little sticker off. Some of these things I might just go ahead and stain treat because I feel pretty confidently, like dirt, for instance. It'd probably come out with OxyClean too. I don't know, maybe we'll just do the OxyClean route and this shirt is going to be so tricky. Well, I can see the stains actually pretty easily when I pull it out of the wash. So I have a couple items that are going into my whatnot show and uh, I really hope the stains come out of those. I'll meet you back here after I get all this stuff out and then maybe I'll work on the Veronica Beard piece with y'all. Okay, so they're taking a bath <laughs> in there. My drain stopper wasn't doing it a good job at stopping it from draining, so it just started draining, which was kind of problematic. But uh, I think it's, I stopped that issue and hopefully it'll be good. Okay, so I'm gonna let that soak and then I'm going to work on this for on the computer piece. We'll see how it turns out. I'm just gonna bring this down here so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take, this is just water. We'll see if this works. <laughs> That's how I feel every time I stain treat, to be honest. There was a period where, I, when I was making that, when I made the stain treating video, I was very, getting much more confident in stain treating in general. And because this is cashmere, I don't want to like use that toothbrush because it's too delicate of a fabric. But anyway, I'm not very confident in stain training right now <laughs> because I haven't been doing it much. So I'm just using my finger to essentially spot treat this. Okay, it looks good. And I'm just, this actually looks pretty good. <laughs> looks like it actually might be working. I just basically put some water on it using this. This is laundry detergent. I just use my finger swirled it in, and then I'm just kind of dousing it in water over and over, and it's really coming out. I mean, look, that mark is like gone. Yay! I love that for us. I just gotta get all the detergent out of here. I actually use a decent amount, so that's uh, not great, but it's okay. 
And I always use, like, scentless detergent. Okay, it actually feels like I got most of the detergent out. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is a good piece to list right now. I love when you can make little miracles happen like this. <laughs> Bring pieces back to life. That looks so, so good. Oh my goodness. So, I am the Stain Whisperer. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure there are no other stains because I don't wanna have to bring this back. I think it looks really good otherwise. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, two thumbs up for me um, <laughs> for that method. If you just have a little dirt stain on a new tags item even, just do that and it seemed to work like a dream. So I'm very, very happy and now I have a piece to list, photograph on list. Which is always great too. So, I don't know, this stuff has been soaking probably for like five minutes. It's probably good enough. So I'm going to drain it and then I'm gonna put it in. You know, in the past I've carried it from the sink to the laundry and um, just makes a huge mess. I'm just gonna put it in. Now I have to take a couple trips to the bin and then I'm gonna chuck it in the laundry, make a less of a mess. And then wash it and then when I get back, Tonight, I'll look everything over, and if things need to be stain treated, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. I might not bring the camera with me just because, who knows, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> just trying to get this stuff done. So, anyway, uh, but I will report on how things go. Okay, okay, I'm going to do that, get the washer going, and then I'll meet you in the car because we're going to head to the office because we have a lot of things to photograph and hopefully measure an inventory too. <laughs> so we have, I don't know, it's probably like two something, a little over like two and a half hours, which is a good amount of time. All right. Oh, I need to post the Instagram reel. Okay, I gotta do that too. Okay, I'll probably do that before I get in the car. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you in the car. Okay, it took me forever to get out the door <laughs> and my camera battery's about to die. So I will just run through the game plan. The game plan is this. We are going to... I have those 26... So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't even tell you about yesterday. Uh, I went, you know, processed my bins items and I ended up having 31 to sell. Um, but then I ended up keeping the bionic slippers. So... I have 30, but I listed five last night, but I need to measure and inventory those still. So, I photographed them yesterday. So I have about 25 to photograph, which is great, um, because what today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, gets me through the week. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna designate Saturday as my sourcing day, my main sourcing day, and then I might have supplemental sourcing days. So I'll go to the bins on Saturday and try to get, I mean, 30 pieces is great to sell. I was there for a long time last Saturday though, and I don't really want to be there for a long time. So what I'm actually thinking about doing is setting a timer for myself and being at the bins from eight to 10, and then going to the other crossroads location after that and taking some stuff in and hopefully getting more stuff to sell. And so hopefully, you know, that'll give me enough stuff to get through the week. It's how many things I need for the week. 35? No, wait. <laughs> Seven days? To, yeah, yeah, yeah. 35. I need 35. Okay. That should be doable. I can get 35 pieces on Saturday. Then I'll be good. And if I could get them all photographed and list and fo photographed on Sunday. Wow, I'd be really rocking and rolling, and I could do other things throughout the week, like, I don't even know, stain treat? <laughs> okay, so we've got two hours. Sorry, my, my camera died in the car. So, we've got two hours, and we're going to try to... Is something smudged on my camera? Oh, I have a, a raindrop. <laughs> Oops. Okay, probably didn't that well but anyway 
something I want to show you is that I have all these receipts here and I buy these at the Dollar Tree. Big fan of the Dollar Tree. Actually, it looks like I got this one at Goodwill. But you can find them at the Dollar Tree. I probably got these at the bins. Anyway, I just label their little filing things and I just put my receipts in here. I also like to have digital <laughs> copies of receipts. I'll take pictures of them, but I never throw away receipts. I always keep them, you know, just in case the IRS wants to come and audit me. I've got, I've got a record. Very unlikely, but could happen. I like to be organized. Let's scatterbrain. So all of these are from November, December, so they'll go back here. And I just had a couple in my car while I was driving over, and I'm like, oh, let's put this away and show y'all how I track this. I don't know if I have yet. Okay, so I went ahead and hung up my Veronica beard piece because I want to get that listed as well. And then I've got my bins of stuff over here, so let's just start hanging it up and then get it steamed and get it going. I'm going to set a timer, so I'm going to allot 45 minutes for steaming and prep because I actually have quite a few shoes, so I include that. And then 45 minutes for photographing, and then that will leave me 30 minutes to measure and inventory as many as I can. Definitely won't get to shoes because it takes a little bit longer to inventory shoes, but that's okay. As long as I could just get some measured, that'd be good. I'm going to put this here, roll this over to my rack, and then I'm gonna pull out, pull out the shoe rack for easy access to these shoes. These actually look pretty good. Basically what I need to do, maybe I'll just go ahead and prep the shoes first. And let me set a timer. I'm gonna set a 45 minute timer. If I could beat that, that would be great. But I'm gonna grab a few pieces of tissue paper because I might use these. And I need to just save these for future use. I had some of these in my old office, but I just recycled it when I moved. And I'm just going to use it to fill in the shoe to make it look a little better. But I don't want really the tissue paper to be visible. So we'll see if I can make that happen. Maybe not. Open toe shoes, it's a little more difficult, obviously. Closed toed shoes, it's kind of easy. Like these, these are going to photograph so much better once I put some tissue paper inside of them. And a lot of y'all ask me where I get this tissue paper. And I, this actually, I think this is the one I got on Amazon. So uh, I will link that in the description down below, but you can always just go to my Amazon shop or my Amazon wish list, reseller wish list. And if you just honestly Google Amazon Moby Beth, sorry, that noise is probably so annoying. You can find it. Okay, so also my Goodwill likes to mark on the bottom of shoes, so I'm actually gonna go grab a cotton ball and I don't know why I store it all the way over there. I should probably store it over here, but um, a cotton ball and Goo Gone, and I'm going to easily get that off. When it's a leather sole, I can't so, so easily get it off, but these rubber soles, it's super easy. And that's good because they'll have some time to dry. Okay, let me go grab that. Okay, I'm just thinking out loud, but what I think what I need to do is move, I have a stack of bins over there, move that. Those are actually bins I wanna get rid of. But that would be good, I could just use them as for like Goodwill bins. Move that and then put a little shelf there full of prep stuff. Constantly tr figuring this office out, I just, Moved in not too long ago, so it's gonna take some adjustments and some time to figure out what is gonna, what's gonna work best. Okay, these are bionic sandals. I've sold these before. These are Mark Fisher. They're in really good condition. They've like barely been worn. Aren't those cute? But yeah, once again, we've got this little mark. So are these leather? It's not coming off so easily. Even if I just like get it to where it looks like that, that's better than what it was. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. I will actually put some, do I need actually 
Well, this shoe kind of seems like I need it. This one seems to be all right. Um, some tissue paper. And the toe box. I'm gonna do one on my foot though. It's like, is that already have it? <laughs> and we've got a sticker in here. Those are done. And then last one. So I've got a Franco Sardo. These are actually from not this trip, but another trip. Uh, some CVs, some Le Lucky Brand, actually two pairs of Lucky Brands, a pair of Ionic, and a pair of Mark Fisher. And those are just like bread and butter shoe brands, essentially. But I find that bread and butter shoe brands are just really consistent. Like, I just really like selling them. All right, that came off super easy. Did Goodwill want 15 $19.99 for these Lucky Brand sandals? Holy moly. No wonder... They end up at the bins. Okay, They're, they are in excellent condition though, so that's good. These cork soles are a little bit. Okay, wait, I gotta make sure I do this well. Sometimes with sticker removal, you have to go real slow just to make sure you get it all in one go. Okay, good. My steamer has a good amount of water in it, so I should hopefully have to go to the bathroom refill it. I'm just gonna kind of wipe that out a little bit. Good, good, good. All right, now moving on. I'm going to grab these hangers from yesterday. Let's hang stuff up. Okay, time to steam some stuff. Okay, so basically what I was saying in the car is, I mean, if I could get into a rhythm where I basically source Saturday and then, I actually don't think I'm gonna, I don't really wanna list. Uh, I mean, I don't really wanna photograph on Sunday. I would ideally like to take Sunday off. So I recant that. <laughs> but if I could source Saturday and then photograph and everything on like Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then have Thursday and Friday to do other things, that would feel so good and I could, get through so many things that I really want to get through. Uh, like stain treating and doing consignment and doing social media. I, it's obviously taking me a while to figure out what my new reselling rhythm looks like, but I actually feel like if today I could get these photographed for the first time, I'd finally feel like I wasn't flailing, but I like had things kind of under control, which would be a really good feeling. So the goal was steaming these days. I need to remind myself this. is to just be getting good enough. You don't have to get out of every single wrinkle. I'm telling, this is my own pep talk, by the way. <laughs> and you just need to get it where it's photographing well. And a little bit of steaming, oh, there's another one. A little bit of steaming can go a long way. Just like get out the main wrinkles, you know? And it'll look, the photographs will look, you know, three times better. But if I spend five minutes per item, that's just unsustainable and it'll start to make me question whether steaming is even worth it. Steaming's worth it when you steam to photograph, not steam to wear, essentially. Steaming to wear, you know, you wanna look your best, you're trying to, get it all out so you look good from every angle but uh, there's a little bit of pilling right there i can need to sweat or shave but steaming to photograph is different and another reason i like steaming and i've said this before is because i find flaws that i wouldn't have otherwise like that little patch of pilling right there that i need to go over with the sweater shaver and it'll come right out i'm pretty sure <laughs> but I don't know if I would have noticed it had I not steamed. Okay, now I'm being a little too detail oriented here. Okay, I'm actually just gonna get that done so that I don't forget real quick. I should have shown you it before and after, but. Okay, steaming and photography done. Taking a tiny snack break. These are good from Trader Joe's. Time to photograph. I hate stuck in your teeth though. Okay, putting my SD card in. Turn my camera on, hopefully it has battery. Ain't good enough. Okay. 45 minutes of photography. Photography is my least favorite part. So I'm just going to go as fast as I possibly can. That is my best method of, you know, getting through this. But we'll see if I can complete in 45 minutes. I am, honestly, I'm not even gonna film me doing it. Well, maybe I can, and I'll just speed it up and so you can see 
<laughs> me photographing. But my, um, my microphone's actually dying. So I'm gonna do this as fast as I possibly can. Hopefully I can get it done in 45 minutes and then we'll see how much time we have to measure in inventory. But I actually got done with steaming and I did a little sweater shaving on a couple things, prepped the shoes in um, like 44 and a half minutes. <laughs> So uh, I'm in doing good time. My like my uh, camera like kind of rests on my stomach. This pregnancy bump has come in so much more than like so much earlier than my last pregnancy, which I'm not mad at. I like having a bump, but I'm having all kinds of weird symptoms. Like today, I've been having pain shooting at my tailbone. So if I've seemed weird, that's why. <laughs> but anyway, all right, let's get this photography done. Okay, so I did not photograph everything. <laughs> I ran out of time. And I have five minutes. I just wanna measure the items I listed last night real quick, if I have time, just so I can get those added on there. I have like six minutes to do this. Still pretty happy with what I did do. I will need to come in tomorrow to finish everything up, but I mean, I don't really have anything. Actually, I was gonna say, I don't have anything else to do tomorrow, but I actually, one other thing I have to do, which I should be able to do both, is I've got to add all my whatnot items to the show, or to the, I don't even know, preload them. That's what they call it. So, I do have to do that. But anyway, I'm gonna just quickly do this. <laughs> I'm not even looking at you. I'm gonna quickly do this. Uh, this is what I'm doing. Just inventorying and measuring this stuff real quick. And then head out. But, pretty good day, pretty solid day. I feel like I'm on really the right track in terms of just getting into a good flow reselling wise. And this whatnot show, which is out of my norm, is also kind of just throwing a racket in things, but you know, there are always, always, always things outside the norm. So you just gotta expect that to be the case. Like I think next week I have some, I, oh, I actually, I, I guess I had a therapy appointment yesterday, but I have another telehealth appointment next week and you know just things things all the time i am happy with what we got accomplished today and i'm anxious to go home and see how the stains came out in the wash and if i need to you know stain treat some of that stuff and the th problem is billy's room is right next to the laundry room. So I don't like to be in there when she's sleeping, but probably be okay at night. I just really don't have to be there in there during the nap. So hopefully we can do that tonight. But okay, I'm going to sign off here because I'm sure this is very uninteresting. But thanks so much for joining me today. And you know, let me know in the comments if what you would like to see moving forward you know in terms of you know there's the day-to-day -day listing and everything but like what we did some stain treating today are there anything is there anything else like that you would want me to cover because and you know i i do like doing consignment and stuff but if i'm missing something let me know if you want to see any other processes or any other reseller related content Thanks so much for joining me. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.